Billions of dollars in federal emergency aid has been given to individuals and businesses to help keep them afloat during this pandemic, and about three million people have lost their jobs. Now there's some signs of recovery. The economy is experiencing much bigger bounce back than forecast. Stats Canada data shows more than 950,000 jobs were added in June as restrictions began to ease and businesses reopened. The jobless rate does remain at 12.3%, though. That's down from the record high of 13.7% in May. Hardest hit in terms of job losses have been women. As Mike Drolet reports, they're not returning to work as quickly as men are. It is on the surface good news, a gain of almost a million jobs. But economists warn these were the easy ones. And when they take a closer look at the numbers, they find they don't add up because men are returning to work in far greater numbers. And mathematically speaking, there just aren't enough men to fill the breach of all the jobs that women have left behind. And if women don't start getting reemployed again soon, household spending will go down, and that means GDP will go down. Economists have taken to calling it a she-session. Certainly, the unemployment rate for women is higher than for men, but it's the underutilization number, which combines those who are unemployed, those who want a job but didn't look for one, and those working half the regular hours, where the disparity is most obvious. Part of that comes down to traditional household yeah, roles, with women taking on the majority of homeschooling during the pandemic. Add in daycare issues, fewer summer camps, and more uncertainty around schooling in the fall, women are feeling more pressure than ever. I think uh, women's recovery is everyone's recovery. And I think given the roles that they play, I, I think in healthcare is one of the things that really stands out, but not just healthcare. Think about all the ways that we live and how important women's work is. We need to see women do well, just period. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business released its numbers this week as well. The good part is that with 56% of businesses open, there's room for improvement. The bad is that only a third are back to full staff and merely a quarter are seeing pre-pandemic revenues. A large part of why they're hearing from their members is that fewer women are returning to their old jobs. We are hearing that there are some obstacles for women um, who still are uh, do a lot of the childcare um, in the home. And so I think that, that getting that piece of it right is gonna be critical. The alternative is an economy operating at far less than optimal levels. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.